Matthews. Number 23, Samantha Matthews, 5'8", senior guard from Charlestown, Indiana. Number 24, uh, forward center, Peyton Foster, 5'10", junior from Woodland, Washington. And uh, rounding out their lineup, number 25, Elizabeth Atlantic. Elizabeth is a six-foot senior from Alito, Texas. And here we have the starting lineup for the Blue Jays as the teams are coming out onto the court for the preliminaries. Real quickly, Janisha Hendricks, number zero, 5'6", guard from Topeka, Kansas. Number two, Tegan Worth, hometown girl, 5'8", junior. Number three, Cassidy Beam, just down the road, 5'7", guard from McPherson, Kansas. Number 22, Maddie McCoy. 5'11", the soft, sophomore guard forward from Ottawa, Kansas, and rounding out the lineup for the Blue Jays, number 43. Olivia Owens, 5'11", senior from Hutchinson, Kansas, Beeler High School. We'll take a quick break here for the Prayer National Anthem. All right, we're back here. And Rod, you did mention that uh, leading scorer, but I think she's been the leading scorer the last couple of years. She uh, last week uh, eclipsed the 3,000 point mark for her career. So, wow, she's put up a lot of points, and it'll be a, a good challenge here for our, uh, particularly our guards here tonight uh, in playing defense against her. And Tabor has two of the best defenders in the conference with Keisha. Tegan Worth, I almost, almost called her by her mother's name there for a second, didn't I? Tegan Worth, and also coming off the bench, we've got Maya McGee, who's uh, very tough defensively, so it could be a good game. Like I said, Grace Byer gets a lot of points from the free throw line, and there she's being introduced, so one one way to kind of slow her down is not foul her, maybe. Yeah. But that's probably easier said than done. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the Blue Jays, of course. Uh, we lost uh, the big, uh, one of our most important players over the last four years. Uh, Zoe. Zoe Shield Knight. Uh, Rust. Rust. Yeah. Went through a couple last names. And so, but beyond, I mean, that's obviously a big, a big loss, but uh, lots of returners back on this team. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, and you'll notice tonight's starting lineup does not include... Um, Chloe Bowen. Chloe uh, talked to her in the dining hall yesterday, I believe. She's coming off of a little bout with Mono. So yeah. he's not starting, and she'll play limited minutes. And he's kind of a force inside with uh, what she can do inside defensively and offensively. So that'll be uh, important tonight to 
rotate a lot of people in and out. We've got some younger uh, Brooke Berlin and Tate and Smith who can also rotate in the post. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there and how Coach Reed uses his younger players tonight. Before we go too far, Jim, I did look up St. Louis College of Pharmacy Eutectics. So all of you people out there that are wondering about a eutectic, a eutectic describes the scientific process of two solids being combined to form a liquid. The mascot, Mortimer Morty McPestle, is complete with a big head, bulging black eyes, white grin, yellow body, and a white lab coat. So Marty McPestel or Mortimer McPestel in the logo is holding a, a pestle and stirring up a concoction of two solids, I, I guess. Yeah, soon to be a liquid. <laughs> right. So now you know, now everybody knows, and uh, we can move on and talk about basketball now. It's good we got that off the uh, to-do list. So. Yeah. We do have a second leading score for the U Tectics. Elizabeth Atlantic scores 12 and a half per game and followed by Samantha Matthews at 9.3 a game and Peyton Foster eight points per game. And so the top five in this lineup are averaging, uh, uh, what is it? They're, they're, they're all playing a lot, the top, the, the, yeah. the top five. And so Something else to watch up over the first four games, the U Tectics, 42% from behind the arc. And so, wow. Usually the Blue Jays are do a pretty good job defending the three, and so that'll be a big challenge as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as we get going tonight. All right, we have Olivia Owens here with the tip. And it looks against Foster. And uh, U Tectics will take it here. And Byer has it calling out. The play already for to start this game. And guarded, as, guarded by Worth, as, as you would expect. Nice little backdoor cut. She's unable to to grab it. And Tegan with the rebound, and the Blue Jays bring it up with it, Janisha coming. And that was a set play designed for a backdoor cut for Byer, and she just missed that layup. She was open and, and uh, should have gone down. She almost got a little too far underneath. Got it into Maddie McCoy, back out to Janisha. She'll shoot a three, and that's good. Coach Reed has been really excited. Of course, Janisha had a, a surgery after the season last year. She played in a lot of pain the last half, and so it's been good to see her operating kind of full speed. Matthews goes baseline, unable to go. Janisha brings it up quickly. Out to Maddie McCoy. She's open for a three, and that's good. Woo, baby. It's, it's just, good to be home, isn't it? Just like that, 6 nothing Blue Jays. Blue Jays starting right where they left off last year at home, shooting incredible percentage nice from behind the arc. Roll. Foster with the lay-in. And you can see Tabor focusing uh, on Byer on defense, leaving Foster open for that easy layup. And they are going to double Owens, swing back over to Maddie McCoy. She dribbles in back to Owens. Owens with a little pull-up, and that is in and out. Rebound by Alonic. Good shot by Owens, just in and out of the, the hoop. Nice pick up by Maddie. Maddie's had some nice steals so far this year. Picked up another one there, and Blue Jays bring it back. Kansas City Beam drives, kicks out to McCoy for a three. No. Good again. And there's going to be a timeout here. Maddie had struggled a bit from behind the arc here early on the roads, but uh, finding the touch here, here at home. And Coach Reese, who uh, now has seen McCoy hit two threes in a row, says, we're, we're going to put a stop to this right now. Calls a 30-second timeout and telling his players, hey, she makes one. Yeah, that's good. She makes two. That maybe tells you something. Get out and guard her. I know that's what I'd be saying if I were him. It's been good, too, here the first couple times down. They've tried to pick here, and uh, Blue Jay switching, and uh, McCoy and Olivia did a good job staying in front of uh, the fire, and so it'll be interesting to see how they continue to play that. Fire brings it up. Now off to Foster. Foster back to Byer. Using a little... 
Coleman has it here at the elbow. And picked off by Worth, trying to get it to Beyer. Worth, a she'll add the three, and it's good. Four three-pointers, 12-2 to two Blue Jays. Double-digit lead here. Beyer tries to get rolling. Oh, oh wow. Foul called. I think they're going to call that on wow. Owens. And then I had a really good view from where I'm at, and Owens did not touch her. It was a great move by Grace Beyer, but she was not touched by Owens. Actually, there was a foul before the shot when they were uh, switching there. And oh, wow, free throw's no good. Free throw in and out by Beyer. Hendricks brings it up for the Blue Jays. Cassidy Bean yet to shoot. Hasn't been open. Now we'll get another foul on, I think, Owens. But it's a second. Second, second foul in a matter of seconds. And she'll have to come out of the game with Bowen replacing her. 31, Chloe Bowen, a 6'2 senior from Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Yeah, I talked to Bowen right before the game. She said she could do, hopefully, short spurts tonight. Right. Matthews with the ball. Foster has it up top. Oh, almost picked off. Byer has it up top. She's going to get a screen here. Thrown up and missed. Good defense by the Blue Jays. McCoy on the wing. Cross court to Worth. Now down low to Bowen. Oh, Bowen oh to McCoy. McCoy goes up and over. <laughs> That ball goes uh, just right under the goal through the net, and McCoy focused on that. Oh. Stayed with it. I didn't think that had a chance to get to McCoy. Oh, that's a walk there. Yep. Good defense by the Blue Jays, forcing a turnover. So we have Maya McGee in, and then uh, first time at home here. Lily Veer from Berean Academy, freshman. She's had a great start so far to her freshman campaign. Travel called. McGee, a 5'8 senior guard from Ardmore, Oklahoma. And Lily Veer, like you said, 5'7 freshman from Newton, Kansas, and by way of Berean Academy. KCAC Player of the Week, first week. Coleman to Byer being guarded by McGee, which is what we expected. Now three-point shot just off. Foster knocks it. Foster knocking it off of Cassidy Beam. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Eutectics. I just, every time I hear Eutectics, I think of a, some, a rock group or a music group from the 90s. <laughs> Who am I thinking of? Eurythmics, maybe? That's maybe that yes. must be it. <laughs> McGee is fighting through those screens. Another screen here for Coleman. Nice pass, but uh, picked off by McGee or by McCoy. Another steal. McCoy's having a great game on both ends of the court. Hitting threes on the offensive end, coming up with big plays on the defensive end. Now McGee drives, goes oh. in and fouled. Number 23. Samantha Bell, Matthews picks up the foul. Meyer, Coleman, Matthews, Foster, and Atlantic. Same five for. <laughs> they don't switch, and we do have another substitution for the Blue Jays. It's not yep. often you have a team that has a couple players averaging more than 40 minutes, but with the, with one of their overtime games. No kidding. Number 30, Brooke Berlin, a 6'2 sophomore from Clearwater, Kansas. Getting her first action here at home. 16 to 4. Coleman, dribble drive over to Matthews. Matthews picked up by Veer. Foul called down low. Looks like uh, it's a legal screen on Coleman. All yeah. foul on the Texas number 11, Coleman. Her first. 
Blue Jays looking sharp here in the first quarter. Still five minutes to play. They're already at 16 points, Jim, and I don't want to jinx them, but you know what that means. The 20 could be in play. Yeah. Bone over to McGee. Screen up top. Kicks out to Berlin. Nice move by Bowen. Job by Bowen. Double teamed. He went through the double team and just up for an easy layup. 18-4. Man, they've... Atlantic for three, and she's got it. That high post screen at the top of the key. Atlantic wide open. She shoots 46%. From behind the arc? Three for six uh, most games. That's what she averages. Veer kicks out to... Back to McGee. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> and Veer is looks to be like she's a she's a slasher. She cuts to the basket hard and she got that pass there for McGee when nobody was open. Went up strong, but ball knocked out of bounds, as you can see here. Alicia Baker checked in for the Blue Jays. She has it up top. Baker, a 5'7 guard from Purcell, Oklahoma, a left-hander. Gives a little bit different look, and we're going to have a travel there on McGee. Got to watch this pick and pop here. No, they're going to get it right to Alonic. Over to number four, Morgan. She checked in. Carson Morgan, a 5'9 sophomore. Sherwood, Arkansas, in the game for the Eutectics. Three-pointer, and it's good by Matthews. Give Bayer a lot of credit. She's been uh, finding some open players, got a couple assists on some three-pointers. 18-10 Tabor. Beer has it on the left side. She's going to get a screen. Over to Baker. McGee. Over to Berlin. Shot clock at seven. You have a two-post offense we're running that right now. A three, three out, two in, and the ball stolen by Byer as the shot clock was expiring. Byer going hard, spin dribble, now finds Foster. Foster goes up, can't get it to go with Bowen right there with the block. Never left her feet, just stayed down. Textbook Bowen block. Yeah. Doesn't lose her, doesn't ever jump and always gets those blocks. Baker gets a screen. Kicks it over to McGee. Bowen cross court to Baker. Baker all the way in for the layup. Looked like she wanted the three, but then came down and and got a few players for the Eutectics dragging a little bit right now. So Tabor could have an opportunity to run a little bit here as Byer goes into on McGee, gets the hoop and the arm. As McGee just fell behind her a half a step. Byer took advantage of it. She's crafty. That was a nice take. Hendricks, Worth, and McCoy all check back into the game. Bowen giving some good minutes. Because of that uh, mono, you know, she'll have to play limited minutes, but he played some good minutes there with some points and, some, and a block. That Re- last rebound, last bucket was important, I think. Because sometimes when a team comes out and they get a couple easy buckets like those three, sometimes they can start to stagnate a little bit on offense. But uh, it's nice to see out of offense, they got a nice good shot there with Alicia going to the hole. Hendricks doesn't take the screen. Fire, good defense. Now back to Hendricks. Fakes, drives, kicks. Worth for three, and it's just off. But Baker with the rebound gets it back to Worth for nice. the layup. And that's one thing about Alicia Baker. She is always around uh, the boards, especially the offensive boards. Byer gets around the screen, gets it over to Morgan. Now Baker got stuck on Byer for a little bit. Now Worth back on her. Baker, good defense on Morgan. Morgan kicks out to Alonic. Shot clock at three. Coleman blocked blocked by McCoy. Nice block. We're going to have a shot clock violation as the ball goes out of bounds. 
Good defense there by the Blue Jays. I don't know if you saw it, Rod, but right at the end of the College of the Ozark games, McCoy had just an incredible steal that led to the victory. Great way to end that game. She had six steals in that uh, first opening night uh, victory for the Blue Jays. Baker 20. on the wing. Now McCoy at the elbow. Which sides. Now worth drive. She's going to go up and go up good and hard. And nice. Rolls it over the top of the rim. 24-12. Just a tad over a minute left in this first quarter. Last time McCoy going to have to foul. Atlantic was going in for a dead bang layup and Maddie McCoy said, uh, I think she she chose the foul over the, that's about all she had a choice yeah. chance to do really there. On that screen, both went with Bayer, and so Alonik's first free throw is good. 105 left here. Second one's good. Blue Jay still with that 10-point lead, 24-14. One minute to play in this first quarter. Blue Jays looking strong with the ball. Playing their usual good defense. Berlin has it at the elbow, turns and faces oh, the oh. Busket, bucket, but pulls it back out to Hendricks. Berlin back down low again, loses it, gets it right oh. back, kicks it out to McCoy. Shot clock going, running down to eight. Hendricks drives, Whoa. goes up. Oh. Can't Almost. get it to fall. Good. Good drive and shot by Hendricks. Byrick brings it back. And she just has that little bit of space, and that's all she needs. And she goes uh, hard left. Looks like she prefers to go left, and she's right-handed. So Blue Jays a hold for one here with an eight-point lead. These tactics have worked their way back into this. I know they're, they're still down eight, but you have to a real slow start to be at 16 here. Baker drives in and shoots blocked, and that's the end of the first quarter. Well, that's a good start to the season of this home schedule. Blue Jays up 24-16. We'll take a break and be right back. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit Fleming'sMiniStoreAll.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. All right, Blue Jays will take it inbounds here since the Eutectics got the tip. Start this second quarter. Let's see if we can start it just as hot. Hendricks, McCoy, Bowen, Worth, and Beam in for the Blue Jays. Beam yet to get on the board for the Blue Jays. She's a three-point shooter, and that's McCoy. That one's off, but Beam there for the rebound. Nice back backdoor rebound by Beam as McCoy gets it again. Now a two-pointer, and that's good. The Eutectics have the same lineup as we figured. Byer with the ball. Atlantic. Matthews, Coleman, and who am I leaving out? 
Foster. Foster coming to set the pick. Three-pointer shot, and that's not Byers' game. Her game is driving just off. Actually looked good. Now McCoy again, three-pointer, turns it down, passes over to Worth, now inside to Bowen. Bowen oh, out man. to Beam, Beam down to McCoy. McCoy wide open, turns it down, a layup out to Hendricks, and that's off the mark, but Beam again with the offensive board. Good effort by Beam. Worth loses it down low. Good defense by the Eutectics. Matthews settles it, and she'll bring it up. Good ball movement by the Blue Jays. Now Worth with a steal. Somewhere there's a foul. What? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, here we got a replay on that. I don't know where the. It was. They called it on Janisha on the. Oh, well he did say two. Did he yeah. change it? Oh, maybe she changed. No, he, he called it on Worth. Oh man. I watched the replay and I'm trying to figure it out, but. Janisha oh. almost with the pick. Now we're going to get a foul down low on Worth again. That's her second foul in a matter of seconds. Lily Veer up quickly off the bench to Alpha replace her. Were those fouls supposed to reset? Don't they reset every quarter? Yes. We maybe have some uh, rookies there on the. Uh, Scoreboard. I think the officials are going to try to change that or get it fixed. So it should be two fouls on the Blue Jays and zero, I believe, on uh, the Eutectics scoreboard. They're getting it fixed. There's a shot of the scoreboard. Uh, there we go. That looks right. 26-17 Blue Jays, 8-24 left in the second quarter. Foster misses the second. Both teams shooting high percentage, over 50%. There you go. Quickly up the court, a sideline fast break for the Blue Jays. Hendricks gets it to Cassidy Beam, and Beam nails it from the corner. And she loves that corner shot. Boy, Beer, her nice. favorite place. Veer doing a great job on Beyer. Now getting some help from McCoy. Double team on Beyer. Over to a lag. Oh. Now three-pointer. Oh. Man, I thought they were going to call that pick. Whew. Beam again with the rebound. Janisha Hendricks brings it up. Veer in the, on the wing. Looking for a screen. Dribbles out of it. Beam again in the corner. Inside to Bowen. Shot clock down to 10. Bowen's going to take it. Goes all the way in and kind of cradles, cradles that ball like a baby and then lays it soft off the glass. Lead so back to 14. Bowen doing a great job there. Coleman has it here on the left side. She gets a screen. Nice having the names on the back of their jerseys. Nice, nice little pick and roll there. Foster with the lay in. Paver a little bit late getting back uh, on defense on the, the help and the help was there. The recover didn't get back in time. Now Beam has it off to Bowen. Now Veer screened by Bowen. Another three pointer by Beam. Another I'm, timeout. I'm definitely buying the t-shirt that says embrace the three this embrace year i'm definitely gonna buy it i'm gonna have them made and i'm gonna wear them for the for i'll take broadcast extra large i'm gonna buy two of them there. all right we'll be right back create an estate plan that values what you value the biblical estate design service from mb foundation is a will planning service that brings your faith into the process of preparing a god honoring estate plan many donors of Tabor college have used this service to create their plan and have chosen to leave a gift to the college a gift that will have a lasting impact on future generations of Tabor students learn more at mbfoundation.com slash Tabor and get started on your plan today MB Foundation, giving meaning to money. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic is a supporter of Tabor College and proud to treat our Tabor. 
All right, we're back here. Blue Jays with a 15-point lead, 34-19, 6.39 to go in the first half. Out of the timeout, McCoy, Beam, Bowen, McGee, and Veer. McGee checking in the game. Backdoor cut by Veer, or by uh, Beyer, blocked. Bowen coming up with the, with the rebound. McGee will get us going. Over. Hand off to Veer. Tanner's just really, really playing well, moving the ball well. Bowen comes up with a loose ball, goes in, fouled in, and she'll, they'll count yeah. it. So that wasn't a design play. No. <laughs> but Bowen no comes up with that ball and saw the clear path. And Brooke Berlin back in the game replacing McCoy as Bowen goes to the line to see if she can complete the three-point play, the old-fashioned three. Maddie McCoy with 10 points. Tegan Worth with seven. Beam with six. Berlin gets a hand on that rebound. Bowen with the six as well. Blue Jays serving 70% from the field so far. Six of nine from three to go along with Rod's T-shirts. Nice. Nice defense there again. Berlin comes up with a loose ball off to McGee. Now Vera on the wing. Matthews fights through the screen, but Vera keeps going all the oh, way in and off yeah. the glass. That's not a freshman move. Folks, I mean, that's a that's a senior move right there. He's a real strong player. Nice pass from Bayer to Foster. No good. Tipped away by Beam. It'll be Eutectic's ball. Alicia Baker checks in along with uh, Carson Morgan for the Eutectic's. If I ever do start a band, I might think about that name, though. Two solids to make a, a liquid. <laughs> That's right. Nice. Nice defense by Brooke Berlin inside. and She's gotten stronger down low. Baker on the wing. Finds Bowen top of the key. Now McGee. McGee drives off to Berlin. Berlin kicks it back out to Veer. Veer drives. Goes in again. Gets fouled. Somehow gets the ball over the rim and into the into the hoop. And watch this again. She gets the foul there. Still gets the ball up softly off the back of the rim, kind of. Last time I saw her do something like that, it was against Hillsborough at the state tournament, if you remember, right? Yeah. Forty-one nineteen. Blue Jays stretching it out here. Just under halfway to go here in the second quarter. Some of this. Uh, I believe with Morgan now with the dribble, who's a sixth player off the bench as Alonik takes a three. A lot of this has to do with the Eutectics just not being very deep. They, yeah, they, they don't have a lot of, they're not a lot of subs coming in and out. These, these young ladies are playing a lot of minutes. And the Blue Jays offense, there's so much movement. They're moving all over the place. Nice cut by Veer. She gets in off the off board. The glass. Beautiful shot. We're gonna have another 30-second timeout by Coach Reese. I think he said 30 seconds, and so we can stay here, but my goodness. Well, the Blue Jays now up to 74% from the field, 67% from three. The Eutectics, 41% from the field, two for five from three, and 50% from the free throw line. And that's not, and that's actually nothing to sneeze at, really. No. I mean, they're, they're playing, I think they're just getting out Outshot? Is that possible? Well, Blue Jays also had a few steals in there. Five steals, a block. Blue Jays is playing well. Yep. Good to see this. And, you know, starting post player Olivia Owens only played a couple minutes after a couple quick fouls, and she's sitting this out, and I don't think we'll see Worth as well. So, again, Sean Reed has this deep team. That's sure nice to have. A deep team, and he's got uh, another five that haven't taken their uh, warm-up shirts off. Or six that haven't taken their warm-up shirts off, and I'm not so sure any of those couldn't be playing and contributing too. It's a pretty deep team, a pretty, really good recruiting class for Coach Reed. Absolutely. Beer has it on the left side. She gets a screen from Bowen, gets around, kicks out to McGee. 
McGee drives. That's lost it on the way up, and then it was blocked. She comes down with it, but it travel called. Byer brings it up, picked up by Veer. She gets around the screen. Hand off to Morgan. Borgeshi, that's number three, new player in. Oh, you're Hamid. right. Byer gets all the way to the rim and lays it up. Again, going left. I think going left is her preference. Such a strong driver. She's right-handed, so your tendency would be overplay the right side, but she goes left probably better than right. And McGee with a three. <laughs> nails it for the Blue Jays. <laughs> That's nice to see the McGee stretching out her range for the Blue Jays as inside Foster scores easily for the Eutectics. Seven points for Foster. Baker on the left side here gets it over to Veer. Veer loses, loses it and now it's going to be Jump ball is going to be called. It'll be the Eutectics ball. I think all the... Everyone was kind of waiting for that to happen out there. Hendricks and McCoy check back in as Bowen and McGee go out. 2.45 left. Ah. And that was unfortunate that uh, Byer goes in, misses, but gets her own rebound. Tabor kind of gave up on that play a little bit, thinking that was going to be a, a dead bang number layup. Number 11, Lily the first 13. Byer with eight points, four for 10 from the field. Now one for three from the free throw line. Comes into the game averaging 16 free throws a game, and so. Blue Jays have only given up four, though, so that's nice. It's difficult player to defend for sure. One of the best scorers in the country. Hendricks gets it over to Veer. Well, Baker, who's kicked into the game, goes back door, didn't see her, went the other way. Now Hendricks gets blocked. Berlin, it's going to be a jump ball. It'll be Tabor's ball this time. 213 left in the second quarter, 46-25 Blue Jays. Into McCoy, huh? McCoy quickly up, no good. Rebound by her. Surprised how open she was that ball, there. That ball was halfway down before it came out. By our Baker now guarding Byer, maybe they decided to put a lefty oh, on nice. her as McCoy gets the steal. Maybe putting Baker on her is better with put a lefty on a, someone that likes to go left. Maybe, nice. that, maybe that works better. Cross court pass, Hendricks in the corner, out to Baker. Baker open for a three, and it's just long as a rebound by McCoy, who's doing it all for Tabor tonight as McGee or uh, Hendricks goes in, no foul, shot no good, and Byer comes back. And McCoy gets the oh, steal. Nice. Veer picks it up the loose ball. Baker has it. Layup. Oh, Blue Jays. Wow. wow. Nice. What effort. That's Maddie McCoy making Ooh, that work right watch there. Watch this here. Nice pick and then dive. Hopefully we'll watch, see that here in a minute. Watch the replay here. Well, we won't get the replay, but Byer comes up court. Hands off to Hamid. Hamid goes in and scores. 21 point lead, just under a minute here in this first half. Hendricks to McCoy, McCoy open, she turns it down. He was too close, she wasn't, <laughs> she wasn't behind the arc. Here she's open again, they're gonna let her shoot it and she does, just misses, but Veer there for the rebound, goes up and fouled. I believe by number four, Morgan. See if we can get that. <laughs> Once again, Veer. In the Here's right that place. replay. Here. Oh no, this is going to be the putback. 
Here's the steal here. Nice first pick. Look at that hustle, Get, keeping the ball in play. Then Veer picks it up, gets it to Baker. First free throw, no good. Six players for the Blue Jays with five or more. Veer. <laughs> nice. Berlin fighting for the rebound. Gets it back for the Blue Jays. Now Baker loses it for a second. Oh. Gets a nice pass down low to Hendricks. Our best plays come off a of loose ball, this seems like. See. <laughs> loose balls and threes. Yeah. Maybe we should add that to the back of the T-shirt. Okay. <laughs> 20 seconds here. Let's see if they hold. Alicia Baker sticking with Bayer. Goes left here. Seven. Nice defense there. And Berlin getting an arm in there on the rebound. Which will be nice because the Blue Jays will get the ball after the half now. Yeah. Inbounds with 1.6 seconds, 50-27 Blue Jays. Coach Reed reminding them a little bit of probably some film work, and there it is. Coleman inside. It's a rebound by Hendricks, and that'll do it. Blue Jays ball when we come back. Saber up 50-27. Maybe instead of 20 every quarter, now it's going to be 50 every half. There you go. I'm all for right. it. I'm all for it. We'll take a break. Be back in about 10 minutes. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service, always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet. At Baumgars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need. Many of you know that the Eitzen Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitzen Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitzenAgency.com. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit flemingsministoreall.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. 
Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. Infinity Fitness is open 24-7 for all of your fitness needs on your schedule. Whether you're looking to improve on basic health knowledge or are looking to power lift or body build, start with Infinity Fitness. We've got the facilities, trainers, and equipment to help you meet your goals. Join the Infinity Fitness family today. Call us at 620-877-0220. Infinity Fitness is located at 115 North Main Street in Hillsboro and online at infinityfitnessks.com. Create an estate plan that values what you value. The Biblical Estate Design Service from MB Foundation is a will planning service that brings your faith into the process of preparing a God-honoring estate plan. Many donors of Tabor College have used this service to create their plan and have chosen to leave a gift to the college, a gift that will have a lasting impact on future generations of Tabor students. Learn more at mbfoundation.com slash Tabor and get started on your plan today. MB Foundation, giving meaning to money. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic is a supporter of Tabor College and proud to treat our Tabor students and athletes. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic offers affordable chiropractic care for the entire family. We offer spinal adjustments and cold laser therapy, decompression and flexion distraction therapy, and are board certified in acupuncture as well as DOT certified. Come see us at 122 South Main Street in Hillsboro or call Panzer Chiropractic Clinic for an appointment today at 620-947-3157. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service, always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet. At Baumgars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need. Many of you know that the Eitzen Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitzen Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitzenAgency.com. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit flemingsministoreall.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems.
Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. Infinity Fitness is open 24-7 for all of your fitness needs on your schedule. Whether you're looking to improve on basic health knowledge or are looking to power lift or body build, start with Infinity Fitness. We've got the facilities, trainers, and equipment to help you meet your goals. Join the Infinity Fitness family today. Call us at 620-877-0220. Infinity Fitness is located at 115 North Main Street in Hillsboro and online at infinityfitnessks.com. Create an estate plan that values what you value. The Biblical Estate Design Service from MB Foundation is a will planning service that brings your faith into the process of preparing a God-honoring estate plan. Many donors of Tabor College have used this service to create their plan and have chosen to leave a gift to the college, a gift that will have a lasting impact on future generations of Tabor students. Learn more at mbfoundation.com slash Tabor and get started on your plan today. MB Foundation, giving meaning to money. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic is a supporter of Tabor College and proud to treat our Tabor students and athletes. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic offers affordable chiropractic care for the entire family. We offer spinal adjustments and cold laser therapy, decompression and flexion distraction therapy, and are board certified in acupuncture as well as DOT certified. Come see us at 122 South Main Street in Hillsboro or call Panzer Chiropractic Clinic for an appointment today at 620-947-3157. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service, always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet. At Baumgars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need. Many of you know that the Eitan Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitan Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitanAgency.com. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit flemingsministoreall.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. 
Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. Infinity Fitness is open 24-7 for all of your fitness needs on your schedule. Whether you're looking to improve on basic health knowledge or are looking to power lift or body build, start with Infinity Fitness. We've got the facilities, trainers, and equipment to help you meet your goals. Join the Infinity Fitness family today. Call us at 620-877-0220. Infinity Fitness is located at 115 North Main Street in Hillsboro and online at infinityfitnessks.com. Create an estate plan that values what you value. The Biblical Estate Design Service from MB Foundation is a will planning service that brings your faith into the process of preparing a God-honoring estate plan. Many donors of Tabor College have used this service to create their plan and have chosen to leave a gift to the college, a gift that will have a lasting impact on future generations of Tabor students. Learn more at mbfoundation.com slash Tabor and get started on your plan today. MB Foundation, giving meaning to money. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic is a supporter of Tabor College and proud to treat our Tabor students and athletes. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic offers affordable chiropractic care for the entire family. We offer spinal adjustments and cold laser therapy, decompression and flexion distraction therapy, and are board certified in acupuncture as well as DOT certified. Come see us at 122 South Main Street in Hillsboro or call Panzer Chiropractic Clinic for an appointment today at 620-947-3157. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for All right, we are back here for the second half. Rod, let's take a little peek at the uh, what does halftime stats say. Well, the big thing they say is uh, Tabor College is uh, up big here in the, the first half, and they did it on the backs of... 20 of 31 shooting from the field, seven for 10 from behind the arc and three for five free throws, 64% shooting. And by holding Grace Beyer, the leading scorer in the country to 10 points, and we'll get a double dribble there on Cassidy Beam. So mainly it just comes down to the fact that Tabor put up 31 shots, made 20, and the Utectics 10 for 23. Not bad, they shot 43%. I'd take that at any day, but 40% uh, from behind the arc, 62% from uh, the free throw line. Three pointer is good by Matthews. Nice pass there by Bayer. Both teams with the same starters. Which you might expect. Bayer, Coleman, Matthews, Foster, and Alonic for the Eutectics. Worth, uh, Owens, Hendricks, uh, McCoy, And who am I missing? Beam. Oh, yes, Cassidy Beam. So, all right. For the Blue Jays in that first half, 10 points by McCoy leading the way, but several others with Keegan Worth and Lily Veer with seven, Bowen with six, Beam with six, Hendricks with five, Baker with four, McGee with five. So, lots of balance scoring by the Blue Jays. Out of bounds under the basket here. Nice pick off by McCoy. Oh, McCoy just doing everything tonight for the Blue Jays on both ends of the court. Continues to come up with steals. That's her fifth steal on the night. Nice cut and pass. And McCoy just reading the defense and going back door. Malonic couldn't adjust. Ball's kicked by Beam, and it'll stay with the Eutectics. Shot clock goes to 20, I believe. Lily Beer checking in quickly for Tegan Worth. 
Malonik tries to pass it down low, and we're going to get a foul called. Grace Byer gets called for the player control foul down low. So the Eutectics going with a different look, uh, plan there, trying to post up Byer instead of having her drive, seeing if that made a difference. McCoy has it up top over to Veer. Veer gets it around the screen, backs over to Cassidy Beam. She's going to shoot three and in and out. And nice. Hendricks gets it. Veer up and under, no good. Byer with the rebound. Nice fake by Veer. Drives into the free throw line and uh, puts it up around the elbow. And what makes Byer so tough is a stop and go. Yeah. As soon as she stops, the defense kind of relaxes, and then she goes again. And oh. that hesitation as McCoy. Speaking of hesitation. <laughs> McCoy make, making a huge move there, making a great move. Did everything then, but hit the bucket. Then couldn't finish, but. Boy, that was a nice move by Maddie McCoy. Holman, a little backdoor cut. McCoy with another rebound. Hendricks brings it up quick, so she's going to push it. Now she'll pull it out and get it to Veer. Veer fakes, drives off of the fake, right past Atlantic for an easy bucket. I know this is going to go back a few years, but you're old enough <laughs> to know about this, and I'm old, so... <laughs> If Lily Veer doesn't remind you of Erica Hemmert, I don't know who would. And you're old enough, I think, to know about Erica Hemmert when she played well, her. Well, I was actually, during the time I was out in a different part of the country, so I actually never saw Erica play, but uh, her All-American, Myers McCoy. <laughs> Maddie McCoy leading the way with 15 points for the Blue Jays, another three-pointer. Three for four from behind the arc to go with five rebounds and five steals. She keeps going like this. She's going to have a triple double. Steals and rebounds. Kick out to Matthews. Matthews from the corner. Nails the three. Matthews has got the ball well for the Eutectics, but just not enough as the Blue Jays continue to extend their lead. Owens has it on the right side. Gets it over to McCoy, back to Owens. Veer has it, she takes the screen. Oh, she had Owens and missed her. Hendricks will shoot for three. Beam fighting for the rebound against two Eutectic players, Byer and Foster. It'll be a jump ball, it'll go to the Eutectics. As McGee, Baker, and Berlin check in for the Blue Jays. Checking in for the Eutectics, number zero for the first time, freshman Olivia Simile. We've got a little clock issue, maybe. Shot clock issue, still at 29, and the ball's already past half court, so that probably can't be right. Trying to get that fixed. All right, here we go. Fire has it. Veer picks her up. Maybe just as impressive oh. as uh, Veer's offense is her defense on Byer. Then she gets a steal, comes away with the ball. Fast breaking, goes all the way to the bucket. Oh. Can't get it to fall. Ball ends up in Baker's hands. She goes <laughs> up and scores. You know, when that went up, I, I just, the only person that was going to come down to is Baker. <laughs> it's uncanny, isn't it? Just gets those offensive boards. Buyer with the lean in. And Veer frustrating Buyer right now, staying right in front of her. Baker gets around. Kind of a wild shot by Baker, but she's fouled. Even, even if she hadn't been fouled, Owens had an easy bucket there. Owens will sit down and Bowman will come back in. 
stay with us here. The men will be playing after as they have their home opener. First bucket's good. Who are the men playing? Do you know? I can tell you here in a second. I think it is uh, Houston Tillotson. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because Missouri yeah. Valley played Sterling this afternoon. Right. The Rams, Houston Tillotson University. That's short. 60 to 33. About halfway through this third quarter. Buyer kicks out. Coleman for three. That's good. So some other players for the Eutectics chipping in here, trying to chip away at the oh, Blue Jays lead as Baker just drives right past the defense for a layup. This team looks really tired now. <laughs> they, they do look tired. You know, the college game is pretty quick. Out to Matthews in the corner. Matthews again for the three. They have had hit those corner threes here in this third quarter. 62-39, Blue Jays continue. Beer for three, and it's good. Nothing but net for Lily Beer. The freshman from Berean Academy with 12 points for the Blue Jays. Doing it also like McCoy, doing it on both ends of the feet of the court. 30 second timeout here. 30 second timeout. I'm hoping here in a little bit we might get to see uh, some more players here. I'm going to guess uh, fourth quarter we might uh, we might see some some of the players that haven't gotten in the game yet. Of course, Lily Veer's high school teammate also came from that uh, state championship from Berean last year. Another post player, Tate Smith, and so. I've heard nothing but good about our, our recruiting class of freshmen. Kaylee Kaufman down there as well. All right. And a couple sophomores. That's right. And Jenna. seniors down there too yeah. as well. One senior at least. Pick and roll. No good. And then we're going to see another jump ball as Baker's right there again. Jump ball. Go to the Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Well, and some more uh, evidence of your T-shirt. Nine of 12 from three, Blue Jays. Oof. McGee up about 15 footer, no good. Rebound by Byer. She'll bring it up court for the Eutectics. She goes left, guarded by Baker. Gets around that screen. Now Bowen gets past Bowen for the layup. That time she didn't stutter. She just went right around yep. that screen. Nice take there by Byer. Oh. Another. McGee gets called for the carry. One of the few turnovers for the Blue Jays. They've had very few turnovers, seven in the first half. Ten total here. Three minutes to go. Baker guarding by her handoff. Coleman. Coleman drives. Oh. Kick it's back out for Coleman. Coleman will shoot that three. No good. Berlin with the rebound. Oh. Oh, man. It's lucky on that as Coleman tried to steal that outlet pass. Uh, Baker all day. Too wide open. I guess. There wasn't anyone four or five feet from her. So. Baker guarding Byer again. Byer. Goes away from the screen, passes out to Coleman. Now we're going to jump ball inside as Berlin on a, in on another jump ball. It'll stay with the Eutectics as Hendricks, McCoy, and Beer check back into the game. Inbounds. Byer will set him up here. Ten on the shot clock. Beer picking her up. Yeah. 
Keeps spinning around and she gets it off the glass. It doesn't go. Bowen with the rebound, hands off to Hendricks. One fifty-four left in this third quarter. With Beam with the ball, gets a screen from Bowen. Now off to Veer. Veer quickly shoots, just off the mark. Bowen right there with the rebound goes up at foul. Another big stat here for this game is the, on the board, Blue Jays with 30 rebounds, 16 for the Eutectics. So double the rebounds. Bowen's first free throw is good. Second one in and out. Good defense by Veer, knocked away, and the foul called. I believe McCoy is going to pick up a reach. And she does. That's her second foul. First team foul this quarter. Not very many fouls this quarter. Two for the Eutectics, one for the Blue Jays. Inside the simile, kicks it out to Matthews. Hendricks right there on defense. Now get. Hand off to Byers. Simile comes and sets a screen. Yep. Nice. Byers continued to work there. Byer continued to work until she got an open shot and sunk that 15 footer. Byer now up to 14. Way below her average, by the way. Six for 16 from the, the field. Only four, only four free throws. Beam for three, and it's good. Sixty-nine, forty-three. under a minute to play. Blocked. Blocked by Tabor. Now it's going to go out of bounds. It looks like they're going to call that. They're, 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 they're getting it right. The referees yeah. are getting it right. Looked like Beam could have saved it, but didn't know for sure if she could and didn't want to save it under her own basket. So she chose to let it go. Back in the Eutectics, number four, Carson Morgan. Coming in for the Eutectics, Carolina Diaz, freshman from Norman, Oklahoma. Speaking of Norman, Oklahoma, the Sooners have kind of lost their boomer here yeah. the last few weeks. Drive, kick out to Simile. Now off to Byer, gets a screen from Simile. Now Hendricks right there. There. Shot clock at five. Kick out to Atlantic. Atlantic shoots, misses, rebound. Looks like it's going to go off a beam. One second on the shot clock. Oh, a foul called. No one's. Well, wait, what are they calling here? Well, they, they didn't get a shot clock reach set because that, oh. that did hit the rim. So, okay. Shot clock is reset to 20. 22 in the quarter. Hamid will inbounds for the Eutectics. Let me get a. Yeah. Let me get a. Number 30, Yeah, it gets called for the offensive foul in the corner. There was a fan down here that's been calling that for about 20 minutes, so <laughs> finally that was called, and he's pretty happy. So 12 in the quarter here. Beam over to McCoy. McCoy's a great high post in this offense. Kearns looks at the basket, finds oh. Bowen down low. Bowen turns and oh. off the glass. Trying to get it at the last minute, doesn't get it to fall, and that's the end of the third quarter, folks. And the Blue Jays up 69-43. We'll be back in a minute. At Baumgars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need when you need it at Baumgars. 
Many of you know that the Eitzen Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitzen Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitzenAgency.com. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsborough and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit Fleming'sMiniStoreAll.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store Off, the solution for your storage problems. Sooner or later, you might need some extra. All right, we're back here, fourth quarter. Looks like the, let's see, Baker, Owens, Beer, McCoy, and Hendricks for the Blue Jays. And for the Eutectics, Barr, Atlantic, Simile, Hamid. And I believe Diaz. Baker open for three, and it's in oh. and out. Man, rebound Hamid. Looked good all the way until it popped out. Hamid with the ball, looking down low. McCoy right there knocks it away, but Atlantic able to pick it up off the buyer. Byer being guarded by Beer. She gets past her. Going left again. Scores the layup. 69-45. 16 points. Beer over to Hendricks. 15 on the shot clock. Owen sets a screen. McCoy with a 15-footer. That's going to be yeah. a little bit short. <laughs> Baker almost with the rebound again. Byer brings it up. Veer guarding her. Now Hamid has it. Oh. Atlantic runs down the loose ball. She drives on McCoy. Kicks it back out to Byer. He drives on Veer. Veer blocks it. Again. Second block. That one goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Eutectics with four seconds on the shot clock. Inside. Veer <laughs> knocks it away. Two seconds run off on the shot clock. Eutectics will inbounds again. Goes to Atlantic. Atlantic goes up left-handed. Owens with the rebound. Off to Hendricks. Hendricks quickly up to McCoy. McCoy back to Hendricks. Hendricks open for the three, and it's off the glass. And Owens and Baker couldn't save it. Coleman checks back in for the detective. Simile goes out. Eutectic's buyer bringing it up the court. Atlantic looks down low to Diaz, yeah. and they're going to call an offensive foul on Diaz for pushing off. As Maya McGee checks in the game for Hendricks. Turnover there. McCoy, McCoy, almost another steal. Knocks the ball out of bounds. It'll be throw in. New tactics. Byer 
No, Throws it don't. in. Baker steps in front of that. Goes all the way in. Uncontested layup. Nice game here for Alicia Baker off the bench. Baker up to 11 points now for the Blue Jays. Bar drives. Goes right. Now off to Coleman. Being guarded by Baker. Dribble weave offense by the Eutectics. Good hedge there by Owens. Gets back inside quickly. Now Byer with the shot clock running down. Goes left on Veer. Spins. Goes up and can't get it to fall. Foul called. This time it'll be on Veer, I believe. Oh, so I'm taker, number 11. Cassidy yeah, Beam comes in to replace Beer, who picked up her second foul. Just under seven minutes to play as Byer sets up for the first free throw, which is good. Again, looking back, it's, this is the, when we talked about those free throw attempts, we're seven minutes to go here and just six free throw attempts, so. That's been a big part of that's the, a big deal of the defense for yeah. Tabor is is not putting Byer on the line. She averages going to the line. What did you say? 15, 16 times 16 a game. 16 times, yeah. yeah. Baker on the curl cut drives in, goes oh. up. Wow! And with a little scoop, gets the ball to fall, and is fouled. She'll go to the line for a free throw. And just she just Norm Van leered that thing up there, as we would say back in the old days. I know yeah. this is before your time, but. Well, la last year she started out really hot and then she had that injury. Broke her so. nose. Yeah. And so it's good that she's back going here. Byer has it for the Eutectics. 74 47. Blue Jays with a commanding lead here in the fourth quarter. Hamid trying to get it to somebody. Gets it back to Byer, being guarded by Baker. Spins on Baker, goes up, and oh. gets the shot to fall. Nice. That's the good. You can play good defense on Byer, but when she spins inside, it's hard to keep up with that. Oh. Good hedge there by Atlantic. She gets back inside, three-pointer oh. shot by McGee. Oh. And it's good. That's twice tonight. She's hit that three. So Maya McGee. From last year to this year, has extended her range we by didn't about see five it. feet because we, we didn't see her no. shoot too many threes last year. And now two made threes tonight. Hamid drives, kicks back out. It'll go out of bounds off the tactics. As Brooke Berlin checks back in for the Blue Jays, replacing McCoy. I'm going to guess McGee worked on that uh, over the summer. McCoy 15, Baker 14, Veer 12, and McGee with 10. Four Blue Jays in double digits, and Cassie Beam with nine. Owens goes in easily from the elbow with the layup. And that's Owens getting on the. Is that her first points? She had other. I thought she had some other points already. And Byer goes past Baker, misses a layup. She doesn't miss too many. Inside to Owens again. Now kicks out to Berlin over to McGee. McGee drives off the glass, but she's fouled. Just over five minutes to play as Byer reaching in on that. Beer coming back into the game, replacing Baker. And I, keep, I keep looking at uh, Tabor coaching staff and keep wondering when they're gonna gonna, gonna tap in some of these uh, players that uh, haven't had any playing time tonight with this lead. You would think that maybe that could be coming here about the Hope so. three, Hope so. three or four minute mark. Two missed free throws there. Coleman. Up top, over to Matthews. Good defense by the Blue Jays. Now Byer has it, guarded by Veer. Backs it out, now goes back in again. Berlin's right there, 
And the foul is going to be called. Is that on the shot? No. Hmm. He did count that. Oh. McGee brings it up for the Blue Jays. Off the beam, down to Owens. Owens drives, spins. Good defense. Now kicks it out to Beam. Beam for three. Good. Another player in double digits. Once again, a loose ball that's picked up by Owens. Back out to Beam for a three-pointer. Beam now with 12 points. Tabor's going to have uh, five players in double figures at least, it looks like. Atlantic now drives on Berlin, goes up. Ball doesn't fall, but foul called. Berlin's going to pick up the foul. All right, we might get, in, get some uh, subs here. Well, Coach Reed is up off the bench looking at uh, Jordan Lowry and uh, going to get her some playing time here as the score goes to 82-54. Jordan Lowry, a 5'11 senior. Looks like she might be checking in here soon. Beard finds McGee. Now McGee out to Owens. Owens for three. A little long, but Beam right there for the rebound. Back to McGee. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Down low to Berlin, a high low uh, pass. Nice play by uh, Owens to. Nice play from high low from Owens nice. to Berlin. And Berlin's long down low, so that, that's an easy pass for her as Bayer gets past Veer again for a layup. Byers now up to 25. Nine. She's going to get her points. Yeah, 10 for 23 from the field. Oh, I didn't think that was going to get to her. I didn't either. Beam now sets up for a three, and it's good again. Whoa. Timeout as Coach Reed gets a timeout for a substitution as Beam hits another three to put Tabor up 87 56. Into the game for the Blue Jays. It's like three people here. Three going in. Number 15, Kaylee Kaufman, a 5'4 guard from Hutchinson, Kansas, Central Christian High School. Number 15, or number 13, Jordan Lowry, 5'11 senior from Oakley, Kansas. And number 12, Caitlin Long, that came in the game as well. She's a 5'7 freshman from Gate, Oklahoma. Played at Laverne High School. Ooh. Couple more people from that freshman class you talked about. Fourth team foul, so hopefully we can avoid another one to be shooting free throws here. Yeah, we'd like to avoid that. And we get to change of the. Number 30 on the foul, I guess, was. Berlin, gonna get called oh. for the reach. Atlantic, and that's the fifth foul, and we will shoot free throws as Atlantic will go to the line. First free throw is good. Long brings it up for the Blue Jays, off to Veer. Veer drives, goes up, and scores easily on the layup. Lily Veer saw an opening and took it. Now she's guarding Byer. Byer with 25 points on the night, kicks it out to Atlantic, and that's short. 
can't be saved by Boudon. 13 of 16 from three. That's unbelievable. Subbing in now for the Eutectics is number 10, Lauren Harding, 5'7", freshman from Redmond, Oregon. Two minutes left in this game. Long brings it up off to Veer. Veer down low to Lowry. Lowry turns, shoots, oh. in and out. Berlin oh. almost with the rebound, but gets called for a touch foul Let that go. on the rebound. And that's going to be four fouls on Brooke Berlin, and she'll come out of the game. And end of the game for her is number 20, Jenna Euling, 5'7", guard forward, sophomore from Mays South High School. We're going to have a little replay here of one of our officials having a little fun here late in the game. <laughs> That's what you do when you're up when there's a 30 point uh, Long with the rebound. Yep. She'll bring it up. Halen Long for the Blue Jays. Off to Veer on the wing. Now to Kaufman. Kaufman inside to Lowry. Three, four freshmen on the floor right here. No, three freshmen. Three four. freshmen and then uh, Lowry and Euling. So Long drives is fouled. That's four team fouls for the Eutectics. Diaz checking back in the game for the Eutectics. Replacing Simile. Now another freshman for the Blue Jays, number 10, Malin, Malin Bell. Jetmore, is that the? He's the 5'6 freshman from Jetmore, Kansas. That's out near Dodge City for you people that don't live in Kansas. <laughs> and if you don't, you probably don't know where Dodge City is either. So. <laughs> everybody, knows where, everybody knows about Boot Hill, though. Yeah. <laughs> Western Kansas. Bell. Fakes, drives off to Kaufman. Kaufman drives, shoots, and oh. off the glass and in. First, uh, first, first two points of her college career, and it's off the glass. And I see her family over there pretty excited, so. You bet you. Great grandpa on the front row. Under a minute here. Again, stay with us. The men will be playing here. I guess grandpa, not great grandpa. You would know, I should Mr. Know. Alumni. Yeah. Bell has it. Off to Long. 46 seconds to play. Long fakes the three. Over to Kaufman. Kaufman for three. This one's off the mark. Euling right there with a the rebound. Lefty up and off the mark, but she's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Bell's on the Texas number 10. Lauren Hardy. Her second team fit. Nice job. Nice effort there by Euling. Euling. It's a lot. Two. Melin Bell is, uh, according to Coach Reed, very athletic. Has done some really good things in practice. He's pretty excited about her. Yeah. I saw saw Kaufman play last year at State. He was a leader of her team. Euling up, just off. Loose ball picked up by Long. Long off to Bell. Bell now to Kaufman. Euling in the corner. Back to Long, Long fakes, drives, goes up inside the lane, just off. Rebound at Eutectics. Harding brings it up court. Now Hamid. Dribbling around, 10 seconds. See if Bayer can get, no, nice pass, but picked up. Oh. Good uh, back, back side help there by Euling. Five seconds to play, 92-61 Blue Jays. Big win here at home. Inside, and it's just off the layup by Byer. Misses. It's got to be just the fatigue on her part. And that's a ball game, 92 points. I need, to see, I need to see a breakdown of those quarters, but the first quarter, 24, second quarter, 26 for 50 at half. So not too bad here in the second half as 
It's 19 in the third quarter and 23 in the fourth as the Blue Jays putting up some good numbers offensively against this uh, what looked to be a fairly tired eutectic team. You know, uh, the one thing, unfortunately, about this uh, for the Eutectics, they have a quick turnaround, too. They have the early game tomorrow against Bethany. The early game is going to be 11 o'clock in the morning? 11 o'clock, yeah. Wow. Stay tuned for the men coming up here in, uh, I would say, what, approximately 20 minutes? And then, uh, reminder, the games tomorrow are early. 11, 1, 3, and 5. 3 and 5 for the Tabor games. 3 o'clock for the women, 5 for the men. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Check is exceptional at his uh, vertical defending. He kicks that one off at fifth.